All treatment comes with a downside, meaning side effects. And aromatase inhibitor therapy is notorious for causing some very specific quality of life side effects. Many women get achy joints, achy muscles, but they can work through that. What limits um, my, my ability to keep a woman on such treatment is if she's having significant loss in her bone density, um, posing risk of her getting fractures later in life once she's beat her breast cancer. Um, the other is having side effects um, with intercourse, having vaginal dryness, painful intercourse. And quite honestly, if that happens to a woman, that is the thing that will make her very much want to discontinue treatment. So oncologists need to have strategies to mitigate some of these side effects that are meaningful and really work for women. And so with regard to bone density, we monitor women's bone density. We encourage them to do weight-bearing exercises and supplement with vitamin D so that they don't have further loss in their bone density. And for women who are having significant decline in bone density, there are other pharmaceutical agents that can be used to help reduce the risk of bones thinning. With regard to sexual health, there's a myriad of non-estrogen substances that can be used with good safety profile. Um, sadly, for many women, they don't work as well as estrogen. Um, and on a case-by-case -case basis, certainly oncologists do allow their patients to use low doses of vaginal estrogen cream or tablets if they are having serious issues with vaginal dryness, repeat urinary tract infections, etc. Um, the most important thing is to listen to your patient, to believe what they're saying about these side effects because they really are happening. And a lot, a lot of women don't want to share it and it is the thing that makes them non-compliant with therapy.